Sorry, guys. I'm streaming on my phone, and it uh, it just said YouTube has crashed. Uh, let me spin that around. Sorry. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, I was just I'm streaming on my phone, and it just popped up and said YouTube has uh, now you have two live streams and more chances to hit those thumbs up. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see, buffering a little. Let's see, everything look good? Is it better? Laggy. <laughs> all right, Every, all good? All right, cool. Sorry. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. So, let's do... <laughs> yeah, yeah, get those likes back up. I, I'm... Technology. I saw somebody say technology sucks. But, uh, anyway, we're back. So, let's do a couple more questions, then I'll show some fish. <laughs> if you were a fish, what would you be? Um, oh yeah, we were talking about wives. Yes, Manda S is great. Uh, I, I joke and I say hashtag fish keeper wives, but uh, how big do bowfins get? I don't know how big bowfins get. I saw Tyler said they get big. Uh, let's see. All right, Daniel says, I was asking, uh, what do you need uh, to do when transferring a fish from a pond or a lake to worry about parasites? So um, I'll answer the, if I was a fish, what would I be? That's a good question. Probably my, later River Life, thanks for stopping in. 30 inches or so on a bowfin, dang. I could fly with that through TSA, I'm sure. Um, so I'm just gonna do for the, if I could be a fish and what would be my favorite fish? Same question, probably a Jardini Arowana, actually. I had a Jardini Arowana. It got to about seven inches. It was a Christmas present from my wife. I have not fed the small uh, smallmouth bat. I'm going to do that probably around 9.30, 9.40ish. Um, but I had a Jardini Arowana. It was about seven inches, and I had a blood parrot that was getting picked on in another tank, so I moved that blood parrot over, and the Jardini found, like, the smallest crack in the, the lid, and the blood parrot kind of spooked him, so he jumped out. Uh, but... Jardini Arowana would be my favorite fish. They are just ridiculously expensive. Um, as far as the question on, do you have to worry about uh, transferring fish from a pond? Uh, when we brought these over, tiger muskie is a good call. Um, when we brought the smallmouth, and then I, I had a few bluegill and the catfish and stuff like that. Um, when we brought them over, we just quarantined them like you would any other fish and just kind of watch them. So you wouldn't want to go catch a fish from a pond or a lake and then just throw it right in a tank with any other fish. You would want to uh, give that fish, you know, its own space, give it some time to quarantine, watch it, make sure it doesn't have any parasites like that. Um, then add it to a tank, just like you would if you were buying a fish from, from another store. Um, I see a couple people asking how I met uh, Ben of Millican Fishing. I was actually just, I was an MFer. Um, I was a fan of his and I'd watched a bunch of his videos before. I won't do all my live streams on the phone, so we won't have to just get things uh, kind of set back up. All right, we good? Everyone here again? Yeah, basements do suck for live feed, and my internet's just bad. If you're in the Omaha area, it's, it's Cox, so why and with milk and fishing so I, and then i started uh paying attention to like, like the background and i realized that uh some of the things i don't know it says i'm distorted my internet worked fine until today i promise <laughs> um anyway so with ben uh i just ended up realizing that he was in omaha and i shot him a message uh Facebook page and I said 
hey, I don't know if you'd be interested. I have this really big 150 gallon fish tank and uh, it's back but glitchy. I don't know, I'm hoping it's gonna fix itself. Um, maybe I'll just, let me try this. Uh, no, I haven't shown the pool yet or feeding the smallies. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna shut down the laptop and see if maybe. All right, so I'm purely on the phone for comments now. Yeah, shout out to Matt for the uh, the mod game. All right, so computer's off, so maybe that'll help since I'm not using as much internet. Um, but yeah, so I just shot Ben a message on Facebook and said, hey, I have this really big tank. Would you be interested in, uh, you know, catching some fish? And he got back to me and said, heck yes. There's kind of this, I don't know, um, Smogs is stream from the laptop. No, it's an old laptop. I have a really nice computer I'll stream from in the future. But anyway, so when Ben and I were uh, deciding what we wanted to do, uh, kids do feed the fish. I should film that. Um, when Ben and I were deciding what to do, we kind of were talking that there's this trend in ponds and these fishy or these uh, fish YouTubers going out and uh, yes, the smallmouth are with uh, Ben Milliken. Uh, these bass fishing channels are starting to get more into ponds and stuff like that. And so we realized that none of the people that had these bass or the ponds or anything like that, none of them were actually partnered up with someone who knows fish keeping and he does not and does not have the time for fish keeping. So we decided to uh, kind of team up and then be like the first fishermen and yeah, catch them all is, is one um, that used to do a lot of fish. And then now it's mostly like ponds and, and fish keeping, but nobody's really doing it where it's, you know, someone who knows the fish and the, uh, uh, actual fishing. But, uh, so that's how I met Ben. Definitely get a bar, get a guard. Uh, yeah, with, with Ben out catching a lot of crappie, I comment on a lot of his Instagrams and just say for the pond. And I, I, uh, I think a crappie would be cool. Um, I want to do more of a bluegill, uh, I didn't want to do like a bluegill kind of panfish tank. I think that'd be kind of fun too. But uh, all right, should we? Do you guys want to see fish? Do you want me to feed fish? Do you want to see the tanks or the the pool? See if we can get Ken out or what do you guys want to do? It's <laughs> Daniel asked, how hard is it to read comments and then also talk? Um, well, the phone only shows like four comments, and then so they just kind of keep loading and then going away. So I'm trying to pay attention, but uh, <laughs> swim in the pool with Ken. I'm in jeans, Matt. That would have been a good live stream, though. Maybe my second live stream. Yeah, JT, I think that'd be cool to do like a, a bluegill. Uh, I have two bluegill, and then that one red ear sunfish green sunfish uh, hybrid the catfish. I don't know if the catfish will eat. Millie actually doesn't let anything get to the bottom when I feed them. So, but uh, I can feed some stuff. Creek chub tank. Let's see. I bet I could just do this. Maybe. Ready? Can you guys see her? Uh, Steven says, any luck finding a live mouse? We haven't looked. Ben went out on an ice fishing trip. Snake is over there. Still in the tank. Yeah, that's the only, Andrew says gone, what a savage, savage. That's the only thing with feeding her is she eats them so fast that you really can't see anything. <laughs> but uh, I'll feed the, I'll do the crawfish in a little bit. But uh, yeah, the glitter, the scales are just, it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, so I don't know if you guys all saw the video on me having to separate them. Uh, yeah, Steven said that's Millie. She's not in the pool. No, um, 
I put both of them in the pool and I left them in there for about three days together. And Ken kind of figured out his spot and then just really didn't move. But Millie was like pinned between a rock in the side and she was not moving. She wasn't eating. Her colors were super, super dark. Um, and so I ended up needing to move her back. If you can see her tail right there, he tore up her tail. He shredded up her fins. Her lips were all beat up and stuff. So I needed to separate him. I didn't want to lose her, uh, especially not with, uh, well, I love him, but, uh, with Ben wanting to keep them and stuff like that. I just, I had the space. She has plenty of room in this tank to grow out and everything. So, uh, If space wasn't an issue, what kind of fish would you get? Um, with this channel catfish, I've actually really realized that uh, I like catfish. So things like red tail catfish, uh, tiger shovel nose, um, some of those that get really, really big. Uh, Matt says arapaima. If you guys don't know, Matt of Matt's Monster Fish has an arapaima. He's actually the reason that I got the pool. He walked me through building it and everything. But uh, so he has an arapaima which get to like nine feet. So, so uh, he has one of those in his pool. So I can't steal his answer, but I would say some like giant catfish, like red tails, tiger shovel nose, um, gooch, stuff like that. Uh, Steve says, heard people feed tilapia to bass. Is that a good food source to them? Um, I don't know if you're talking about live or frozen. I do frozen tilapia. Um, fillets and i just uh i thaw them out yeah rib saw catfish would be really cool too there's some awesome just gigantic catfish most of them have really sharp things that i don't want to put in a pool that's the only reason the channel catfish isn't in the pool because they have the barbs and i don't want to pop the pool uh steve says live tilapia um i think so i think that'd be a good it'd be better than goldfish honestly the uh the uh, feeder goldfish are super fatty. I just did a video feeding my gulper on ways to make them uh, like healthier by gut loading and quarantining and stuff like that. But really, if you could go out and find like a tilapia or, yeah, Millie's hungry, she wants more. Um, I, I think that would be a healthy source. Really, you think what these wild fish uh, catch, okay, uh, Long Island Fish Guy wants to see the gulper. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know where I would get tilapia. But uh, that that bait shop that I uh, went to with Ben has um, sunfish. So I could use sunfish for bait, but uh, I don't know. I like the diet that they're on right now is primarily frozen thawed shrimp. Uh, thank you, Nick. Um, Frozen thawed shrimp, the tilapia, and then I do the, the feeders and I mix up goldfish and minnows and, and the, the crawfish. We learned that they don't like mice, so no mice. But um, so I see some people, someone said, uh, would you consider getting an Oscar? I actually have two Oscars. Uh, we will go out there and uh, I'll show you that tank. <laughs> Build a koi pond in your backyard, you coward. All right. You're close. I know you're nearby. You can come help me dig. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Steven says, do you have any other pets besides fish? I have the ball python, and then I have uh, two dogs. I have a... Uh, I'm losing my train of thought. I have a, a greyhound that used to be a racing greyhound, and then I have a lab pit bull mix. Matthew Moore, what's up, man? Thank you for jumping in. <laughs> Danger says I've got a shovel and a whole lot of moxie. I don't know. Say, get get the get the likes up, and then uh, Danger will come help me dig a koi pond. Yeah, Bobby says is Oscar is digging a territorial pit because he hates his green terrors. Yeah, I have uh, two gigantic Oscars, and then I do have a uh, green terror in there as well. I'll show you that that tank, but. Uh, Let's see, I don't know. What time is it? 9.30. So, uh, Nothing Nothing says, do you have a Jack Dempsey? Um, if not, they would be a good fish. I do have a Jack Dempsey. Um, I had a few, but I have Red Devils that are super, super aggressive, and they killed one of the Jack Dempseys, 
so I had to move them. So I have a Jack Dempsey out in my massive uh, cichlid tank. But um, let's let's feed Millie. I'll feed her the crawfish. So I'll spin the camera around, feed her the crawfish, and then I'll just kind of walk through some of the tanks, and then uh, we can come back over here, and uh, we'll do some more questions. Uh, Nick says, Texas cichlids are nice. I have two of those as well. I have uh, two little baby Texas cichlids that I am growing out, and then I have a black nasty cichlid I'm growing out. Um, like I said, <laughs> arowana merch, and I saw someone say the uh, Millie eating a crawfish shirt would be cool, especially if I got it like the crawfish uh, darting back like that. Um, Ohio Fishkeeper says, do you have a dinosaur by sure? I do. Uh, you'll see that in the uh, 125. This tank that I'm going to show you here in a minute, the uh, 125 is, I call it a dump tank. It's all the fish that were too aggressive or too mean to be in other tanks. I ended up putting them in there, and then they kind of just uh, live there. Uh, Timothy asked if I live in Omaha. I do live in Omaha. Nick says, black wolf fish. I have a rainbow wolf fish, so the, or the red wolf fish. Um, I have a video on him. He's just a he's just a little guy. He's just a, a little baby. I could show you feeding that too, but uh, let's see. Oh, this is another staple that I feed uh, Millie. Just the uh, shrimp that you buy from the store. I leave the tails and the uh, legs on there too, just because it's it's healthy. But uh, Let's see if she'll hand feed. Here, I'll do this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I call her my puppy. You can see why. Gone. <laughs> I love that fish. For uh, a wild caught smallmouth bass, to be, she was hand feeding, uh, nothing, nothing says I breed minnows, um, but, uh, yeah, to be, to be a wild caught, you know, massive smallmouth that hands feeds, I, she was hand feeding like a week after I got her, I just think that's ridiculous, um, Logan wants to know how I met uh, Ben Milliken. Uh, I explained the full story earlier, so if you watch the, the recap, uh, you can see that. But uh, the short story is I was just a fan of his, and I knew we lived in the same area, and I shot him a message on um, Facebook. Liz says, I still think I could eat one faster than Millie. Long on the fish guy. I actually I need to watch your videos on your new Stingray. Uh, Matt was actually telling me about the Stingray and uh, that you're kind of afraid of him. <laughs> but uh, let's see. You guys want to see Millie eat the crayfish or the crawfish, however you say it? Uh, Chase says, can you keep a turtle with Millie or can? I probably could. I can't see a reason why I wouldn't. Steve says, do you just run sponge filters on Millie's tank or a canister too? There's actually a uh, Sun Sun canister filter underneath. And that is, I don't know if you can see it there, the spray bar for the canister filter. And then there's a hang on the back that uh, doesn't work right there. But uh, So it's the two gigantic sponge filters and then the canister filter. And then I keep up with water changes and stuff. But uh, So people are saying yes, so I can only assume that means you want to see her eat the... Uh, Crawfish, so let me try and uh, spin this around. And then, uh, let's see. You guys can see my sweet dining room chair. All right, sorry. So I don't know if you guys can see that. This is actually, if you saw the video, this is the uh, one that we were joking is the ultra rare blue one. I saved it just for you on the live stream. 
So, he's trying to pinch me. Whoa. I don't want to get bit. All right. Dang. Wow. I don't know if she gave up or what. That's the first time I've ever seen her not eat something. I guess, yeah, new pet crawfish, says Bobby. The uh, ultra rare blue one, he knew what was up. No, maybe if I move, let me set this down. That's crazy. I have never seen her not eat them. Yeah, the catfish definitely will. I'll see if I can get show you the catfish. <laughs> so there's the catfish. <laughs> Daniel says it's so rare she didn't want to eat it. That's a good point. I have a feeling she'll come back. She did some damage to it. Maybe she only likes red lobster. Well, I bet she'll still eat these. This is just her tank water, but. Yeah, JT, frozen is definitely better. Um, and normally that's what I feed her, but uh, there you go. So, those are gone. I don't know if that catfish will go over for the... Uh, I'm trying to pull this up. I don't know if he'll go over for... She wants it. Thomas says, how much do you feed Millie each day? I would go broke if I fed her each day. So uh, I only feed her once every three days. And usually I'll just do a handful of those frozen thawed shrimp. But uh Let's see, so I'll do, got like 20 minutes left. I'm gonna try and keep this to about an hour, but so I'll show you some of the other fish that I left the lights on for, and then I'll show you the big tank, and then we'll come back and I can show you the pond. But uh, let's see. So I knew there was gonna be a lot of glare if I did this, but. of you see my little uh, juvenile flower horn named Thorn. Matt of Matt's Monster Fish actually came up with the name on that. Uh, Daniel says feed the snake. I thought about feeding the snake, uh, but he takes a super long time to eat. So that would have been, we would have been here all night. Let's see. 
one of the fish that I don't show on my channel very, very much. Uh, um, this guy has killed anybody else. But this is my male red devil. And I have a, a two. And she is down. Usually hides behind uh, that log. I have all the filters. Moving over to this tank, I don't know if you can see, Steven wants a live stream of the snake eating. I can do that. I can focus one on, on the snake. But uh, hiding behind that bush is the Black Nasty. Here is the uh, Arowana. <laughs> John says, who named the Gulper? Gulper's name is Gilligan, and he did. John was the winning name of the gulper. But uh, this is the Arowana swoosh. If you can see the... Uh... Let's see. Nick wants to see more of the Black Nasty. I'll see if... Uh... I don't know where he went. Let's see if I can move this. Hiding down behind this. Yeah, he's that black nasty is does not want to come out, but uh, yeah, the black nasty. He's only there. He is. He's only a couple inches too. Uh, he is gonna be. A beast. If you if you've never seen a black nasty, they are big. They are white, and they have like black kind of speckles on their face and stuff, and they are mean. But uh, uh, let me go. Here, I'll spin it back to me. Sorry if this is glitchy or laggy as I move out here, but uh, you guys get the full. Effects of the fish room in the dark. Uh, Chase asks how the rainbow wolf fish is. Um, rainbow wolf fish is really, really good. Um, he uh, still just super tiny, but he's hand feeding from me already, which is cool. Uh, the name, there's a guy named Hawaiian Peacock, and he... Uh, he wanted to go with uh, Mark Singer, the original Beastmaster. So the Rainbow Wolf Fish name is Mark. But uh, this is the Gulper Catfish, if you guys do not know about uh, the Gulper. Uh, the Gulper Catfish finished that goldfish yesterday, so he is... Uh, Still feeling quite full, but uh, yeah, Gilligan is is his name. He doesn't like to uh, come out of that pipe. And then, bear with the mess here. This is where the kids play. But so this is the tank. I haven't shown this tank on my channel in like six months. Uh, Nick asked the Black Nasty can have tank mates. Uh, in my experience, no. I had two black nasties that were the same size, and he killed the uh, other one. And then that angel has some nipped fins and stuff from him as well. Uh, this tank has some really bad lighting. Uh, I need to uh, buy some more lights, or better lights for it. But for those of you asking if I have an Oscar, this is Moose. I don't know if you can get a scale for the size of him. But last time I measured him, he was 14 inches. And then I have the albino, and he's about 11 inches. Yeah, this tank, uh, nothing, nothing says uh, the tank is really clean for all those fish. Um, here's the, the feather fin down here. And one of the first fish I ever bought was the uh, PetSmart Pleco. 
Uh, JT, it's I have. Uh, he's the Tiger Oscar, and then he's just the uh, albino red Oscar. Then this fish here is a flower horn uh, Texas hybrid. Yeah, Steve, I am too, and they don't always get along, but uh, they've been this way for months with this same stocking and everything, and there's really no nipped fins. There's just, uh, I mean, they, they kind of bully each other around and kind of show who's boss, but uh, for the person that wanted to know if I had a Jack Dempsey... Uh, Daniel, I haven't taken them out to measure them in a long time. Uh, when I moved Moose back into this tank, I uh, did measure him, and that's how I know he's about 14 inches. Green Terry is another one of my favorite fish. Hey, Jeff, what's up? Showing the uh, 125 that nobody ever sees. Um, here's another one of my favorites. That guy right there, oh, Ohio Fish Keeper. Um, but that pike cichlid, I love that pike cichlid. He gets really bright red uh, when I feed him. But uh, this is the dinosaur bicher or the Senegal bicher. Uh, if you guys know what those are, you can buy them really small at, at uh, PetSmart. But yeah, that pike cichlid is super, super cool. He was really tiny when I put him in this tank, so I didn't think he was going to make it. But then he's like tripled in size since I put him in here. There you can really see the colors. <laughs> Steve, I, I need to buy something like that. I have a, a fluval, but it's a smaller fluval. And then I just have the one hang on the back because uh, they broke the other one. <laughs> Steven, I'd love to get a sturgeon. I've actually been pricing them. But uh, let's see. The other one, the other like main fish in here is... Uh, that jaguar with a beak? I don't really know why he has a beak, if, if you could see that, but uh, he does have a beak. Um, but uh, eventually, I hope that's a male. The little one is a male. Um, and so I'm hoping that I can breed that male with uh, the, the bigger female there. But uh, I see some people asking some more questions, so let me head back to the uh, in front of Millie's tank. And uh, I'll set the tripod up and we'll do some more questions before we wrap it up. It is 9.50, so try and shut it down around 10. Unless people are just still loving it, we'll, we'll go a little longer. But uh, let me go back in here. Uh, JT, that tank is 125 gallons. It is uh, the definition of uh, overstocked. But uh, they get along and I keep it clean, so... I don't really have any problems with it. Let me see. Uh, Steven wants to know if a sturgeon could go in the pool with Ken. Absolutely. Smog wants to know why their names are... So Moose is the big Oscar, and then Squirrel is the uh, Bicher. And uh, I was really into the show Supernatural at the time. If you ever watched that show, so... Moose and Squirrel. That's the names I came up with for them. But, uh, yeah, so a few more minutes. So uh, Jeff says you can get a sturgeon. I can. Uh, they're not illegal in Nebraska to keep. So... Uh, if I could find one that was a good price and I, I wasn't going to pay like an arm and a leg for shipping. Um, nothing, nothing says, let's see, David asked, are you going to make a tropical pond uh, for the smallmouth one? Uh, I don't know if you mean, am I going to convert the pool that I have into a uh, tropical pool at some point? If for some reason I ever needed to get rid of the smallmouth bass, I would convert that into a tropical pond. Um, I'll give another shout out to Matt's Monster Fish. If you want to, uh, yeah, he says Rod from Predatory Fins has a two foot sterlet sturgeon for 200 bucks. Um, if you want to see somebody that has a pool that's set up for a tropical fish with peacock bass, arapaima, sturgeon, um, a sturgeon that you can actually pet, go check out my mod, uh, Matt of Matt's Monster Fish. 
Uh, he put a video up just the other day that uh, he was petting his sturgeon. It was like swam up to him upside down. And he was just kind of petting it. So uh, Bobby answering that question for me. Um, some uh, tank mates for Jack Dempsey's. Those are all fantastic options. Um, I like green terrors with Jack Dempsey's. Um, JT says you couldn't keep anything with his Dempsey. He was evil. Uh, yet I've heard that some people have like really, really good experiences with Jack Dempsey and some are, uh, you know, super, super mean and aggressive. Nick says he loved Matt's, loves Matt's big tank with the peacocks. Yeah, he just moved those peacocks over to uh, his pool with his arapaima. And uh, he has some cool feeding videos. So, David says, has a good, have a good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I appreciate you checking it out. I definitely will be doing more live streams in the future. Um, this has gone really great. I'm, I'm actually really surprised how many people have showed up and uh, decided to uh, hang out. So, thank you uh, to everyone that's been here. And like I said, I will do more of these in the in the future, and we'll do more with the pool. Ken's still, honestly, just getting adjusted, um, so his light is off right now. He's just gonna hide under the under the log. But once he gets more comfortable, we'll do uh, more live streams with him, and we'll feed some some stuff in the pool. Um, I want to see if I can get Ben to do a live stream with me. Uh, one of these times when uh, he's in town and not traveling to do some ice fishing and stuff like that. Yeah, Steven says do a live stream with Ben if he would you know be open to it i would i would love that so um do uh some feeding or test out some lures whatever he wants to do i'm pretty open andrew if you're taking off uh thank you for stopping by again i appreciate all the time that uh you oh matt's monster hit fish hit 500 i forgot about that that he was so close so uh yeah thank you for everyone that went over and checked his channel out uh thank you for getting him to 500 that is a big deal um, he, uh, you know, will applaud for that. He's only been making videos for about three months. So for him to be at 500 in three months is fantastic. He's killing it. So congrats to him. Let's see. Perfect. Steven says he'll go check him out. Thank you for doing that. Uh, you will not be disappointed. He's putting out some really good con content as well. But, uh, yeah, it still says we have 33 people in here, so we'll do a few more questions and then kind of wrap it up. Uh, yeah, Andrew, shoot me a message, and uh, if you want to do that, I think that's that's awesome. I think that would be cool to do. Dana says, what are you going to do for uh, 2,000 subs? I don't know. If you guys remember when I hit, uh, was it 500 subs, I did a, a five-and-a-half-gallon aquarium giveaway, and that got some pretty good uh, – feedback and responses people like that so i don't know uh maybe i'll do when if i hit uh 2000 maybe i'll do another uh aquarium giveaway I, I sent a five and a half gallon aquarium i included a heater um i included some dechlorinator and some bacteria starter so it was essentially everything that you needed to uh set it up just needed to uh add some substrate but uh that was fun they hungry how's it going man yeah as People are still here, so I'll keep hanging out for a little while. Uh, Steve, are you breeding anything at all? Um, or if you don't want, want would you? Um, I actually bought, I haven't put a video out on this yet, but if you've seen the video where I fly back with the arowana, in that bag I also had four uh, angelfish. I had two pairs, two pairs of two uh, breeding angelfish that uh, take care of the fry that I bought. And so I'm actually in the process of setting up tanks for them. I really want to uh, do some angelfish breeding. Uh, I've done green terror breeding in the past, and I would like to get back into that. And then uh, if the red devils breed, that'd be great. And then uh, if the uh, jaguars breed. I really like the big cichlids, in case you can't tell. The big fish are kind of my thing, like her. <laughs> Dr. Shusimi says, 2,000 subs, 2,000 gallon tank. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Chase says, what do you call a bluegill that steals your bait? A bass turd. <laughs> um, I saw somebody say that they wanted to start a YouTube channel and how do you go about it? That's a fantastic question. Um, 
when I started my channel, I joke with my wife that, uh, you know, she got tired of me talking about fish to her, so I needed to start a YouTube channel so I could talk to other people about fish. Uh, but, uh, let's see. And ask me a lot of questions uh, about eating it. So, uh, good to see he's launching at the food. That's that's a start. Um, nothing, nothing says he's made his channel because he got bored. Ohio Fish Keeper says, I need a piranha tank. I would love a piranha tank, actually. Um, what is it? Matt tells me I need to get, what is it, the black rom? Is that what it is, Matt? You know. But I think that'd be cool. But those things get huge. Yeah, black rom. Um, anyway, so for setting up a YouTube channel, the biggest advice that I could give is find content that you're passionate about. Um, you know, the aquarium field is not the most... Oh, black diamond, that's right. Um... The aquarium field is not the like most popular thing on two uh, green spot puffers. But uh, yeah, the aquarium field is not like, I mean, there's not millions and millions of people lining up to uh, watch aquarium stuff. But I knew that that was the most passionate thing that I could talk about when I was doing it. So um, I would just say, find something that you're, you're passionate about. Find something that uh, you know that you can, you know, come up with some content with. And then just be yourself. You know, I, I try and not have any BS or anything like that in, in my videos. I try and just be real, which is why you can see, you know, algae on the back of the tank and and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, Jeff, puffer fish are sweet. I have the two green spot puffers. Um, I was gonna feed them to do, but people want to see the best. So, Elias says, do your jags do well with tank mates? Uh, those do actually. Um, in that 125, the most aggressive fish is the Mayan cichlid, which was the, I didn't really point it out, but he had the, the stripes and the red on his fins and stuff like that. So the Mayan cichlid is the most aggressive, and then the flower horn, the one after that. Um, but the jaguars, they get along with everything, which is not common. I know jaguars really mean. Um, nothing, nothing says algae is fine. It's good for a tank. It's good, but you see all these YouTubers that their tanks are like, pristine um you know no algae stuff like that um but that's not really fish keeping <laughs> if if your tank is like spotless all the time then that's not uh how it goes uh thank you they hungry um yeah so they hungry he uh he got a gulper and he commented on a couple different of my uh, gulper videos um which are you know by far my most popular videos but he commented on a couple of those. He got a, a gulper and just asked me some questions about trying to get it to eat. And so we've kind of been working through it together. So um, that's been fun. I'm glad that they felt comfortable enough with me to uh, ask, you know, for my advice. And, and I've, I've been trying to give the best advice that I can. And it sounds like you're going in the right direction. I mean, really, you think catfish can go for weeks without eating. But, uh, I mean, I, that doesn't help if you're worried about your fish. So... But, uh, yeah, so let's see. What time is it here? It's 10 o'clock, so let's do a couple more questions. We'll do, like, five more minutes, and then uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Um, it seems like people are starting to drop off anyway, so. Uh, oh, nothing, nothing can't get fish in the winter in North Dakota. That's the thing here, too, with uh, Ben. I, I, I want to go get, like, a gar or, you know, something that we can, we can fish and we can catch, but uh, everything's starting to get iced over, which uh, makes fishing for some things difficult Matt's monster fish says how do you keep your hair so smooth and silky it's a secret <laughs> maybe it's Maybelline is that the is that a shampoo I don't know <laughs> uh, how do you know when it's time to switch a fish off of flake food um, like like a community fish or like you have, um, I don't know, The if you want to do something, if you're, yeah, sorry, if you're worried that your fish are too big for flake food and you want to try something bigger, you can buy just about every size pellet. Um, get a drum. Uh, you can buy just about every size pellet from like super tiny to bigger, so you just try it. 
Ohio Fish Keeper, thank you for checking in. I know it's uh, it's late on the East Coast, so I appreciate you uh, stopping by. Um, let's see. <laughs> JT says, got to feed my electric blue Acara. Jeff says, tell Ben to go salmon fishing. That would be fun. Like I said, people on his videos comment and say that they want to... Uh, <laughs> I didn't want salmon. Um, people comment and say they want to get me out on his boat. I don't know if if he would be up for me tag along when he goes ice fishing or something like that or something similar but uh i'll talk to him about it if, if he wants me to go out and and or if he's cool with me coming out we have a good time when we hang out so bobby says i should try getting a crappie with millie i think if i put anything big enough with her that wasn't ken she would be fine Steve says, ice fishing video would be cool. I kind of had the idea of doing, like, an ice fishing video for dummies. Like, I don't even have, you know, the pants for ice fishing. So I would look foolish while I was doing it, but I think that would be kind of fun. All right, let's do a couple more questions. Anybody have any more questions or anything? Otherwise, uh, we can start wrapping this one up. Uh, Steven, sorry I missed that one. Would you keep a trout in a tank? Um, I thought about trout. I've looked into keeping trout. Uh, ben and I actually talked about keeping trout. You need a pretty strong current for keeping trout. And I have this tank and the pool don't have any heaters. They're just run on, uh, you know, I mean, it's room temperature, so it gets pretty cold. But uh, it doesn't get quite cold enough for trout. Uh, would I ever make a tank cleaning video? I could do a maintenance video. That would be pretty easy. Uh, I would like to know a good setup for starting my own household uh, feeder fish. Household safe feeder fish. Um, they hungry. I just have a 20 gallon. I'm actually going to switch that down to a 10 gallon uh, for feeders. For things like minnows and goldfish, you want them colder. So you don't need any... Uh, Bobby says maintenance video would be good. I'll do that. Um... One fish, two fish says, build one of those manifolds for a trout tank. Hillstream. Yeah, that's a good point. I know, yeah, Hillstream tanks are, they have a pretty strong current in them. I would just, I would almost need a chiller for something like that. And those aren't cheap. Um, but yeah, I can definitely work on a maintenance uh, video. The smallmouth will eat live frogs. It's just a matter of finding the live frogs. That bait shop that we found, they, it wasn't actually legal for him to sell the uh, live frogs. So... Uh, let's see. No, the uh, rare one in a million crawfish is still right. I'm doing this in reverse. There, behind that filter. So she did not eat the crawfish. But she probably will when I turn it off. I don't know. If, if you guys watched the video where I fed both of them and I fed Ken, I put like eight feeder goldfish in... Uh, the pool and as soon as I turned off the light I came back down like half an hour uh, later and they were gone which I knew would happen as soon as I turned off that light uh, those things would be gone <laughs> alligator gar would be great but uh, let's see you guys we are past the 10 o'clock mark it's now 10.06 so uh, I will go ahead and wrap it up here I will say thank you to everybody that uh, stopped by this was a fantastic first live stream. Um, I really thought, you know, I wouldn't know what to do or, or what to say, but, uh, you know, having great people like you that were talking the whole time, I really appreciate that. So thank you for all the questions. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'll start uh, working on the next one. Um, go check out my Instagram page, SC Fishkeeping on Instagram, and I just set up a Twitter last night. So check out the Twitter as well. I'll try and use those in ways that add content to the YouTube. But uh, thank you to Matt for uh, moderating. Thank you for everyone uh, that asked the questions. And uh, yeah, I had fun. So have a good night, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs>